Hi everyone, I'm Eduard from Noplan and in this video I will explain you how you can use the web version of Noplan. So first of all, the general layout of the app. On the right side we have the calendar sidebar. At the top is the monthly calendar where you can select different days and will open the daily note for this day. Also you can open the weekly notes here for the different calendar weeks. And at the top right you can switch between the months and you can log in into your Google Calendar. Once you're logged in into your Google Calendar, you can see your Google events here in the timeline. Also, you can create time blocks in this timeline by dragging a task into it, which I will show you later. In the middle of the screen, you have the currently opened note with the editor. Also, you can switch between the days here at the top. At the top of the note, you will see the references to this note. And for the daily notes, there's always one fixed reference, which is the current week, which I will also show you in a moment. On the left side, we have the sidebar with the folders, notes, the access to the daily and weekly notes, and some other settings and options. So here you organize your regular notes and project notes and so on in folders. And I recommend to use the system PARA, which means projects, areas, resources, and archive. So in your project folder, you can put your currently active projects, which you, are, which you need to access on a regular basis. In your areas, you can put your current work areas or life areas, which is for me, for example, marketing, strategy, freelancers, and so on, or investing. And here I put notes with current information about these different life areas. These are not projects which I am working on on a daily basis, but these are areas of my life or business which I accumulate and need to reference uh, once in a while. In resources, you can collect different notes about uh, different interest, interests you have or hobbies or book notes. For example, if you're interested in psychology and you collect notes about this topic, you can collect them here in resources, for example. I also collect information about people here. So this is not a specific area in my life, but in general, all the people I know, I collect the, uh, like a CRM system. I collect the information in here or, or tips about marketing and so on, which I don't need at the moment in any area or project. But these are good tips I can refer to later. Also, I collect meeting notes, for example, or interviews. And you can use archive to put in your project notes, which you have finished, or areas which you have closed. OK, let's talk about what you can do in the editor. You can, if you hover over an empty line here, like this one, you see a plus button on the left. And you can click on the plus button, and you see which elements the editor supports. There are more elements, like you can also create images, tables, and so on. But let's focus on the basics for now. So you can create, for example, a task. This is a task. And if you hit enter, um, you can keep writing your list of tasks. Or if you hit another time, enter, you can just write some plain text. Or if you want a bullet point, you can also create this. You can also drag bullet points, plain text, and anything around. For example, if I want to drag it here or below the task, and you can hit tab to indent it, like to make it a note for this task, or you can also create a subtask. And I recommend to use the checklists or checkboxes to create subtasks. A faster way, if you don't want to click on the plus every time, you can see here on the right the shortcut, basically. So you can type asterisk space task to create a task, plus space checklist to create a checklist, and so on. So let's create another subtask two. So let's talk about how you can structure your daily note quickly. I use headings to segment my day into different areas. For example, today's plan. Below this, I start a quote. So it's just greater than space, basically. And then I write out my thoughts, what I need to do, etc. Below this, you can start writing out some uh, you can create some time blocks like uh, reply to emails, development, marketing, and so on. Then you take this and drag it into the timeline. There we start at 8. Set up the length of the task. Below this, I usually write work. And here I write some daily tasks I know I need to do. For example, fix bugs XYZ for marketing, review, and write copy. 
below this if you want you can also add a journal section and journal so this is the basic structure of, of your day you can add during the day more points to it more bullet points links and so on which you take care of later so that you can focus on your task and if you plan a project click on the create button then folder or note and once you have a folder created you can also hover over it and click here on the option and create another node and then it will open the node so hit pound sign space and you can give it a heading for example let's say this is video project and here you can write down like the goal of the project this is the goal and then some task another task and from here you can schedule your tasks into days for example greater than and you type today and this task we'll do tomorrow and now you can jump into uh, the day in the calendar for example today and now we will see another reference entry here from the node project video project so you, this is how you can plan your tasks from your project notes into your days and for tomorrow we have another task and before we continue let's have a look at the other references which are the weekly notes so in weekly notes i like to set up goals for this week the advantages you can see those weekly goals here all the time at the top of your daily notes you can check them off once you're done so you can plan your goals in your weekly notes and then plan the detailed tasks to achieve those notes in your daily notes and this way you can stay focused on your goals okay now what happens if you are done with the day you checked off a couple of tasks uh, but you didn't finish all tasks so now it's tomorrow and you start with an empty day what you can do is you can visit yesterday and simply drag and drop the tasks into the next day so the task will be removed from here and it will be added to this node then you can continue planning your day from here but i recommend you only to move forward the tasks which are still important and don't move them all forward at once you can also use cut and paste or copy and paste but i always recommend to review your day and only uh, roll over the tasks which are really still important otherwise you will end up with a huge list of tasks so let's look at the references between different regular nodes or project nodes so here we have already one project let's create another node now we can link this node to the video project node just simply by typing the square brackets two of them and then search for the other node you can just keep typing like video project and hit enter and then they are linked so you can jump from this node to this to the video project node and you will see it here at the top as a reference as well and this way you can create connected nodes and a kind of second brain and if you need to search for your notes because you don't find them here in the folder system which can happen if you have a lot of notes like i have you can hit the find notes button here or simply command j and keep searching for your notes from here it searches for the note titles then hit enter and it will open the note for you so i hope this video helped you to get started quickly with the web version and if you have any questions just email us